Well, New Zealand's opposition leader has outlined a new policy to keep Kiwis afloat during a cost of living crisis, which is expected to dominate the election year. Christopher Luxon says tax rebates for families with children in daycare will be funded by cutting consultant spending by the Labor government. A new tone set for the election year. There's a new Prime Minister, but I'm telling you, it's the same old Labor. At his State of the Nation address in Auckland, National Leader Christopher Luxon took aim at the Labor government, accusing it of overspending, overtaxing and under-delivering, before announcing a quarter of a billion dollars in tax rebates for Kiwi families in his first major election policy. And in New Zealand, early childhood education is amongst the most expensive in the developed world. And so for a typical family, it accounts for roughly a quarter of their household income. The family boost policy would see families given a 25% rebate on childcare expenses for households earning up to $180,000 per year to a maximum of $3,900 annually or up to $75 per week after tax. We, we have to draw the line somewhere. What this delivers is 80% of families with children under five, 130,000 families across New Zealand. National is adamant it will fund the $249 million scheme by cracking down on Labor government's ballooning consultant spending. We're going to have a 25% reduction in contractors and consultants that takes $400 million off the table. This gravy train is going to stop at the station. In addition to controlling government spending, the National Party says it will fight inflation by not adding costs to businesses that flow on to consumers, making recruiting easier from overseas, introducing tax thresholds and refocusing the Reserve Bank on inflation. The opposition leader also took aim at Labor's soft-on-crime approach, vowing to restore law and order by backing police and tackling gang activity. And we'll introduce tough consequences, including youth military academies, for serious repeat youth offenders. New Zealanders will head to the polls on October 14. Jessica Maggio, Sky News.